Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of angles in a triangle, specifically how we can use our knowledge of variables and equations to figure out what missing angles might be, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a triangle here, looks like it's going to be a scalene triangle, kind of close to an isosceles, but it doesn't look like it exactly has two even sides. And the question is simply, what is x? Right, so x is going to equal a mystery number. And the clues we have are, we actually have one angle measure right here, 45 degrees. But then we've got this uh, one angle right here that's 10x. And then we've got another angle here that's 6x plus 23. That's it. That's the only clues we have. Well, there's one piece of information that we need to have that is not actually supplied if we ever see a problem like this, and that is the number of angles of degrees if you add up all the angles in a triangle. So what is the sum of the angles in a triangle? Well, let's remember how we can easily remember that. So we've got a rectangle here. So a rectangle has got four square corners. We know that each square corner is 90 degrees. So we know that a rectangle square, actually any quadrilateral, is going to be 90 times 4. So that is going to be 360. You can take any quadrilateral. You can use a diagonal to cut it in half. And guess what you have? A triangle. And a triangle is going to be half of a quadrilateral, because you can just take that quadrilateral, cut it into two equal halves, and that's going to equal 180 degrees. So if you ever get stuck and you forget how many degrees are in any triangle, doesn't matter if it's right, scalene, obtuse, equilateral, it's going to equal 180 degrees. Now, how does that help us? Well, I know that if I add all three of these angles, so I've got 45 I've got this second angle, which just happens to be 10x. Then I've got this third angle, which happens to be its own little problem, 6x plus 23. So I don't have any negatives. I don't need to subtract anything. I put all of those together, and all of this equals 180, because we just remember that the sum of the angles in any triangle is going to be 180 degrees. It doesn't matter what kind of triangle it is. Now, how do we simplify this? Well, let's bring our like terms together. And this is going to turn into a one variable two-step equation that you are very familiar with. So let's combine this. I've got a plus 10x and a plus 6x. So I'm simply adding how many x's. I've got 10x's here. I've got 6x's here. So if I add 10 and 6, I'm going to get 16x. They're both positive, so I'm just going to leave it as a 16x. We don't need to put a plus there because that's implied. Then I have some constants. So I've got 45 and 23, and they're not really attached to anything. They're not coefficients. So if I add 45 and 23, they're both positive, so I don't need to subtract anything. So I'll say 16 plus, and then let's just put those together. That's going to be 68 equals 180. So now that's looking a little bit more like what we're used to, right? Almost an mx plus b slope intercept form. So uh, what we need to do is we need to now subtract 68 from both sides, right? We need to keep it a balanced equation. So that's going to cancel each other out. That's going to leave 16x all by itself. Let's see what this turns into. That is going to be 7, that's 10, that's 2. So 112. So now I need to just divide both sides by 16. 112 divided by 16. No idea. 112. Uh, let's try 6 would be 36. 7 would give me 42. So let's see what that does. Oh, there we go. That's going to go in evenly. So it's going to be 7. All right. So that's going to be even. All right. So x equals 7, which means this angle right here is 10 times 7, right? So that's 70 degrees. And this angle here, right here, is going to be 42 plus 23. So that is going to equal 65 degrees.